What's up guys, I'm Eric. If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Jeep Cherokee, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It is required by the law. Let's break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. We're gonna run our wiring system to our taillights. So our first step is gonna be to remove those. We're gonna remove these two screws right here with our T27 bit. After removing your screws, we're gonna apply pressure right here to the taillight and push backwards to get it off. We're gonna go and push down right here to remove our taillight. We're gonna go and use a fishing technique to get our wire up to the top of the taillight. To get our T-connect up to the top where the taillight housing is, we're gonna go and use some tape or a zip tie. With your wire pulled through, we can now plug it into the factory plug. We'll go ahead and ground our harness by using a self-tapping screw to the vehicle. Now we have to route our green wire to the passenger side of the vehicle. We will do so by following above the bumper beam and all the way over, back over the other side of the bumper beam on the passenger side and up. We're gonna connect our green T-connect to the passenger side using the same fishing techniques as we did on the driver's side. Now we're gonna go and reinstall both taillights on the vehicle. and let's go ahead and repeat on the driver's side. Now we'll be connecting and running our power wire. Today we're gonna to be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire. It has a protective loom on it to keep it safe in the engine bay. Now we're gonna safely run our power wire to the engine bay. We're gonna avoid all moving parts and anything that gets hot. We're gonna run the wire as high as we can, trying to follow the line of the frame support. We're gonna go up and over this beam. We're gonna loosen the panel to ease the installation. We're gonna go and zip tie our line to keep it away from the exhaust. Now we're just gonna run our line inside of the panel. Now we'll go ahead and reattach the driver's side panel. We'll go ahead and fish our wire up through the engine bay. We'll go ahead and safely fish the wire up through the engine bay. We'll go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket to attach our fuse to the battery. Now we'll go ahead and connect our power wire to the fuse holder. Using our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all we have to do is plug it in. Now we'll go ahead and plug in our fuse. Now with our battery wire installed, we'll go ahead and tuck up all the slack into a safe place. Now we're gonna mount our four flat. We're gonna follow the green wire over the bumper beam to get it safely attached.
We're gonna go and mount our four flat with a mounting bracket. It is not included with the kit. You can go and pick one up at your closest U-Haul center. First, we're gonna find where we're gonna mount our bracket. Then we're gonna go and drill our first hole. Then we're gonna go and line it up with the screw and get it hand tight. Next, we'll realign the bracket to where we want it. Then we'll drill our second hole. Now we'll put our second screw through and hand tighten it. If everything looks okay, we're gonna go and tighten it with a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean up the wiring. We're gonna go ahead and pull all the slack to the four flats so it doesn't touch the exhaust. We are gonna zip tie it to a wire in the back. We'll zip tie our wire just like this. We're gonna zip tie our converter box to the same place as the slack. With your wiring now installed, you're all ready to tow. Have fun guys. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, Visit us online today at uhallhitches.com.